Number 16, 1947 Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. According to NGC, with the end of massive wartime contracts, economic activity declined throughout the nation during 1946 and 1949, and this trend is evident from following mintage figures. Fewer than half the number of quarters were coined at the Philadelphia Mint this year as opposed to 1946. The 1947P is certainly no rarity, and a large number of gems have been certified through MS67. However, anything with a great hire is considered scarce even with plus designation. This quarter was sold for $1,740 on August 14, 2023. Number 15, 1911 Lincoln Sentinel MS66 Red Condition, CAC proven superb gem with lustrous copper red surfaces and minimal contact. This is a very common coin in circulated grades, and mid state pieces certified as brown or red brown are plentiful. Fully red gems are available, but they bring strong prices from register set buyers in higher MS grades. This MS67 red penny was sold for $1,920. Number 14, here is attractively toned 1948 Silver Washington Quarter, graded in mid state 67 plus by PCGS. The aforementioned service certified overall 35 quarters in this grade with only three finer. It was sold for $1920 on August 14, 2023. Number 13, 1965 Kennedy Half Dollar in MS67 condition. Metal composition is 80% silver, 20% copper. According to NGC's application of mint marks was suspended for the coins dated 1965-1967 in an effort to discourage speculators who were wrongly blamed for a nationwide coin shortage at about that same time. While most denominations were coined at several mints during those years, the circulating half dollars dated 1965, 1966, and 1967 were produced exclusively at the Denver Mint. Nearly all of the 1965 dated halves were struck during the first seven months of 1966, and they did not debut in circulation until March of that year. It was fate of most Kennedy half dollars dated before 1971 to be hoarded, though the silver-clad issues of 1965-1969 did see enough circulation that they are readily available in lightly worn condition. The 1965 halls, while quite common and worn, are rarely found in the higher grades. Number 12, this is 1921 Peace Dollar with obverse lamination. This error coin was graded in mid state 65 by NGC. This high relief Peace Dollar features a small vertical lamination at the back of Liberty's jawline. The rest of the coin is fully brilliant and frosty with minimal ticks or marks. Strike definition is strong for the issue with only minor softness over the Liberty's ear as always. The 1921 becomes conditionally scarce above the gem grade level, and this specimen was sold for $2,280. Number 11, 1951 Roosevelt Diamond MS68 Full Bands. In MS68 condition with full bands, from a mintage of more than 56 million pieces, the 1951 Dero's What Time is a plentiful issue in most grades, but fewer survivors can match the quality and eye appeal of the present coin. The design elements are sharply detailed with full bands definitions. The impeccably preserved lustrous surfaces show vivid hue of emerald green, cerulean blue, and lavender toning on obverse. While the reverse remains essentially brilliant, it was sold for $3,240. Number 10, 1955 Double Die of Worst Scent, graded in Mint State 63 Brown by PCGS. Glimpses of original copper red and orange color appear in most protected areas of the fields, while the majority of each side displays chestnut brown toning with steel blue and lavender hues. The coin is well struck and shows minimal abrasions. Sold on August 14, 2023, for $4,200. Number 9, 1953 D. Roosevelt Diamond in MS68 condition with full bands. The attractive pastel toning deepens at the rims and carries over to the reverse border. 
Nearly flawless surfaces host a sharp flu band strike and a repunched mint mark, the repunched D over tilted D. It was sold for $4,800. Number 8, moving on with its 1963 Diamond MS67 Plus condition with full bands. Lightly toned and impeccably preserved specimen. The mintage of the 1963 Roosevelt Dime was an enormous 123 million plus pieces, but the most certified examples are no better than gem condition. Due to small surface marks as a rule, these coins showing impeccable preservation on surfaces that show lovely pale blue and lilac patina on each side. Number 7. This is 1909 SVDB sent in MS65 red and brown condition. According to Heritage, this gem on circulated example of famous 1909 SVDB sent is about 85% red. Clean surfaces glisten with radiant luster and strike detail is sharp throughout, including the designer's initial that's a lower reverse. A splendid representative of the first year key to the series, sold on August 14, 2023 for $6,900. Number 6. This is 1939 Jefferson Nickel and PR68 condition, reverse of 1938 variety. This is a typically encountered half variety of the proof 1939 nickel, identifiable by way we ill-defined steps on Monticello. Indeed, this issue is plentiful in absolute sense thanks to a respectable mintage of 12,000 535 pieces and good rate of survival. Precious few examples are as expertly preserved and attractive as this superb gem. It was sold for $13,800. Here is 1981S Lincoln Sand Proof Specimen, grade as PR70, deep cameo by PCGS. PR70 is the highest grade a proof coin can receive, indicating that the coin is in perfect condition with no visible flaws, and deep cameo refers to the strong contrast between the frosted design elements and mirrored background of the coin. A proof sent in this grade and designation is considered a rare and valuable coin. However, the value of the coin can depend on several factors including the specific market condition at the time of sale, the demand from collectors and investors, and the overall rarity of the coin. This one was sold for $12,150 with buyer's fee. Number 4, this is 1949D over S repunched mint mark variety of Jefferson Nickel. Graded in mint state 67 FS by PCGS, FS stands for Full Steps, a beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. Impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the sign grade. It was sold for $18,000. Number 3 here is 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar, a proof deep cameo gem in PR69 condition from highly elusive accented hair variety. The chair picker's reference states accented hair variety is identifiable by enhanced hairlines in the central area of the hair, just below the part. However, the easiest way to identify the variety is a weak or broken lower left serif of the eye in Liberty. This variety comprises a minority of the proof 1964 Kennedy of dollar population, although it's not universally scarce as many examples are certified. The rarest examples are those in the deep cameo category and these coins are conditionally rare in high grade. This true rarity ended up selling for $30,001.20. Number 2, this is 1913 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 plus red condition, exceptional eye appeal color and quality for the date specialist who demands the finest Lincoln scents available. Struck with depth and precision on all devices and letterings and free of carbon spots and bag marks of any significance, bright mint red, spans of verse and reverse, and the eye appeal is strong in every possible category, a delight to examine and quite memorable. This rare piece ended up selling for $35,250. Number 1, and this is 1937D's three-legged buffalo nickel. 
graded in mean state 65 plus by PCGS and further proven by CAC. According to NGC, the technical term that has been adopted by variety specialists is a braided die reverse. Conventional wisdom has it that the removal of bison's foreleg came about through overpolishing of the die to eradicate the clash marks, but other evidence in both dies suggests otherwise. The heavy erosion lines visible on the hindmost leg and in the Indian's neck established that the die pair was severely worn at the time. A more likely scenario is that both dies were repolished to smooth their fields by removing the heavy furrows that form on overused dies. The famed three-leg nickel is not rare in worn condition, but pieces grading extremely fine and higher are scarce in relation to the great demand. Mint state coins are very elusive. This one was sold for $38,187.50. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights and tips. Happy collecting!